Korean steel manufacturers have been hit hard by the U.S.'s recent decision to impose anti-dumping duties along with countervailing duties on corrosion-resistant steel imports. The U.S. Department of Commerce claims that Korean metal products are sold at less than fair market value and therefore hurting its domestic industry. Yoon Shin has this report. The U.S. government has decided to impose an anti-dumping tariff on some Korean cold roll steel products. On Friday, the U.S. Department of Commerce decided Hyundai Steel will be subjected to 34.3 percent and POSCO to 6.3 percent of anti-dumping tax charges for their metal products. Along with the anti-dumping tax, a 58.4 percent of countervailing duty will be imposed on POSCO and a 3.9 percent on Hyundai Steel. POSCO and Hyundai Steel are among the largest steel makers in Korea, with a combined number of cold roll steel exports amounting to 138 million U.S. dollars a year. The cold roll steel technology is vital to a wide variety of industries such as automobile, electronics and construction. An anti-dumping duty is what the government imposes when foreign imports are priced below fair market value, and countervailing duty is imposed on products to counter export subsidies. This recent measure is seen as the U.S. government's policy to protect its economy, as well as a penalty on Korean companies. Back in June, the U.S. imposed a similar penalty to countries like China and Japan for their corrosion-resistant steel products. Yoon Shin, Arirang News.